hello guys happy to see you today again so in my last video we discussed how to balance chemical equations by algebraic method so that's one of the applications of algebra so i told you that if you know algebra you can solve anything in mathematics both in economics in accounting and everything so today we want to look how we can also use this uh, algebraic method to solve chemical equations more examples so you can use it anywhere even in your pharmacies you can use it in your feed you will have an equal balance equation now let's start now as you can see i told you in my last video that we have players that come to play here so you start by checking it from carbon hydrogen oxygen so you write the players out but before then you have to name each compound with a letter by write a letter here you write a letter here you write a letter here you write a letter here now the first player that plays here is carbon so you write carbon out followed by hydrogen followed by oxygen now what is the name of this compound this is benzoic acid reacting with oxygen to give us carbon four oxide and water remember that this is the reactant side and this is the product side so now let's start now we have seven carbon atoms here so you multiply that seven by letter a because you are deriving an equation for each compound so you have seven a now followed by hydrogen now why do we move we cannot move now this is carbon do we have any carbon in the right hand side no so you move to the product side but we have carbon here which is one so you multiply one by c so one times c you have c then equal this arrow sign representing equal sign so you have letter c now now move to hydrogen how many hydrogen atoms do we have we have six atoms so you multiply six by letter a c is a since you don't have any hydrogen you move to the reactants and product side so you have 2d that is hydrogen is two atoms here two times d you have 2d then followed by oxygen atom we have two oxygen atoms here you represent it to the 2a plus 2b rsi equal to 2c that means oxy two oxygen atom plus d we have one oxygen atom here plus d now you can name it equation one equation two equation three now look at the first equation since we are dealing with the letter a the first compound you look at it fractionally fractionally that means you look at the least fraction the one that have a smaller fraction from these equations that you shall use and any one of them that has the smaller fraction you now put a to be one because this is an event that is occurring that is why you are putting, putting the first letter to be one so now let's check we have seven if you have one over seven and one over six which one is the smallest here i think the one that has the bigger denominator is the smaller fraction there so you now have put a to be one so equation one is the smallest so since you have gotten a to be one you can now substitute a in any of the equations to get the other values so you now come down 7a is equals to c now a is one seven times one is equals to c now c is equals to seven so you have c to be seven now we have gotten C, we have gotten A, then we can also get D from here, from equation 2. Since we have gotten A, we can also get D. So you now have 6A is equals to 2D. A is 1. Then we now have 6 times 1 is equals to 2D. 6 is equals to 2D. We divide both sides by 2. So D is equals to 3. So D is equals to 3. So what are we looking for now? Letter B. We have gotten A, C, D. So we need B. 
So we can now solve for equation 3. So we can now come here. We have 2a plus 2b is equal to 2c plus d. 2 times 1, because a is 1, plus 2b is the b we are finding now. Then 2 times c. What is c? 7. 2 times 7 plus d. What is d? 3 plus 3. So 2 times 1, 2 plus 2b is equal to 2 times 7, 14 plus 3. So 2 plus 2b is equal to 14, 15, 17. So this is an algebraic equation right now. You make letter b the subject of the sentence 17 minus 2. This two will migrate to the other side. So 2b is equal to what? 15. So in order for us to get to you divide both sides by 2, so B is what? 15 over 2. B is what? 7.5. Now, as you can see, we have 7 and a half here. So don't be afraid. Yeah, we are having 7 and a half or 7.5. Now, whenever you are balancing a chemical equation, and you have 0.5 or an half. So in algebraic chemical equation, we don't use half atoms. There's nothing like, like half atoms. Rather, we have an atom, one. So you multiply all your answers, all the numerical values, by two. So meaning, normally you're supposed to have one here. Then B, what is our B? 7.5, seven and a half. 7.5 then c c is 7 you can put 7 here then d is 3 you can put 3 here by absorption this is balanced but we don't have half atom so you multiply everything by 2 so therefore now since we have a to be 1 b to be 7.5 c to be 7 and d to the 3. You multiply it by 2. Everything. So you now have a is 2. b will be 15. Meaning 7 times 5 times 2 will give you 15. Then c will be what? 7 times 2, 14. Then d will be what? 6. So at the end of the day, you may now claim these ones. So A is what? 2. Put 2 here. Then B. Let our B, our B is what? 15. You put 15 here. Then what is our C? Our C is 14. Put 14 here. Then what is our D? Our D is 6. Now the equation is balanced. So if you check it now, you will discover that this chemical equation is balanced without sweating. Now let's check. We have 14 carbon atoms here. At the reaction side, we have 14 carbon atoms, as you can see. Then hydrogen is 6. Hydrogen is 6 here. No, hydrogen is 12. We have 12. Oxygen is 2 times 4, 4. This is 32. This is 30. Then this is. 2 times 4. That is 32 plus 4. That is 36. Now let's check here. Now this is 14 plus 2. And 40 times 2, 28 plus 6. 28 plus 6. 28 plus 6. That's 34. Here we have 30 plus 4. Okay. 2 times 2, 4. This one is balanced, I swear. So then let's check at the reactant side. This is 34. Oxygen here. This is 2 times 4, 28. This is 6 times 1. That is 6. 28 plus 6 will also give you 34. So that means the equation is balanced. Yes. Try this assignment.